Yeah, my name's Scott Campbell. I'm the uh, strength and conditioning coach for the uh, NRL Under 20s and Canterbury Cup squad. Uh, in our sport, uh, strength is extremely important. We want them as strong as possible, but also we want them as fast as possible. So there are limits to what you do in the gym. You can go beyond certain needs in the gym. So we need to be careful with our balance. Strength training is a, a very steady process over a long period of time. And there's so many different uh, factors that come into play. Um, we've got rookies who may have done nothing on the rival. And we've got veterans at the other end of the scale who need to be um, looked after as well. I've seen lots of strength coaches get very excited about a, a kid who can lift massive weights and push them to be lifting more and more when really they don't need to in some areas. So that's the balance. The benefit of uh, balancing their training with good progression on the field is very important. And then we've got the main squad in the middle who are usually in pretty good shape. They're still young, they're in their early 20s. They've got a, a block of four or five years where they can progress well over that time. They're exciting to work with and they're the, they're the benchmark for a club. They're the ones you can look at year by year, laying foundations for your team strength. Every team is trying to find an edge in every area and you know, one fundamental part of our game is you need to be strong, you need to be powerful. So it's a huge part and it plays a massive percentage of our training time is spent in the gym. Once they come into the system, we have to, uh, as a, a coaching team, I work with Hayden predominantly. So he's looking after the speed, the conditioning and the strength and uh, recovery modems. I work with him on uh, how we balance those factors, but then he also has to take our information to the coaches and balance out their loadings for all their field work. So it's a real juggle pre-season. Five weeks before Christmas and five weeks after Christmas are critical for getting the most out of them. Every second's important, every rep and every set's important. If they've done a, a speed running session in the morning, we need to look at what we're doing in the afternoon, we need to look at what they're doing tomorrow, and they need closely to look at what they've done in the past three weeks, because that overall loading over three weeks usually indicates how much you can put into them. We've got a system of recording. It's a good system where I can uh, write a program with video images of each exercise. It's particularly good for uh, our development stuff, sending it away to kids were developing in, in other areas, but the session is presented on iPads, so they're able to, in real time, into their results for pretty much every rep of every set. That gets sucked into the, the world wide web of wonders and gets spat out on my desk as, uh, with the results of all the sessions. This is uh, my second year here. In the first year I was here, I was uh, reticent to put up a, a records board because you need to develop a good base and players tend to chase numbers rather than specific strength needs for themselves. We've got to a stage now with the group where I trust the senior players to, to lift uh, with good technique. We've got a beautiful setup. This place is world class, but also we never want to lose sight of the, the working environment that's required to work hard. And now and again, as coaches, you come up with little ways to create that competitive environment. And, and Scotty and Lee Hopkins have come up with this concept of ring the bell every time you you're attempting a personal best because we're always encouraging players to test themselves every day. So the bell creates an atmosphere in here and the players get behind them. And if you could go to the gym down the road and have that same environment with a group of mates that help you get better every day, it, it's priceless. But that, so that's what's been created in this gym. And I really love it. Like I, sometimes I'm not even on the gym floor and I hear this bell go and I hear the whole place erupt. <laughs> When I came to Penrith, I really wanted experienced people around me and the players. Scotty's walking around this gym, if he takes his shirt off, he's got three premiership tattoos on his back at, at three different clubs. Players will talk so highly of him, and you're talking 20, 30 years of experience of superstar players that our players look up to. And now, it just makes them feel a little bit safe knowing that they're being cared for by the same bloke that cared about their heroes. In a gym session, when they're in a lot of pain, and you're working with somebody, and they're getting results, I think that develops a connection. So they, even subliminally, they're going, that person was there when I broke through that barrier. The same way a player takes care in how they catch a ball perfectly is the same way I expect them to apply themselves on every exercise in the gym. 
So it needs to be a whole full-time mentality in our place, that attention to detail we care about, whether that's on the field or in the gym. The main thing is the honesty amongst the playing group to keep the work ethic at a high level. The gym is an easy place to reinforce those values. You've got very specific numbers, individualised for specific people, so I know exactly what a person should be lifting on that day for that time. That person knows as well that I know, and the group knows, so they are held accountable for every exercise they do, and uh, that forces them to, within the group, demonstrate that they're prepared to work hard for the group.